Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about the block diagram of FMCW radar. So, what do you mean by FMCW radar? FMCW radar stands for Frequency Modulated Frequency Modulated Continuous Wave Radar radio detection and range okay so fmcw stands for frequency modulated frequency modulated continuous wave radar so that is that means if you remove the word frequency modulated it is like your cw radar that means if there is no modulation involved in the fmcw radar in terms of frequency then it is working like normal continuous wave radar i already told you in the previous video FMCW radar, the main function of FMCW radar, main function of FMCW radar is to find beat frequency, to find beat frequency. What is the beat frequency? That beat frequency FB is having two frequencies, nothing but range frequency FR and one more is Doppler frequency FD. Okay. FMCW radar is used to find the beat frequency FB. That beat frequency is having two different frequencies FR and as well as FD. FR is responsible for the determination of range to the target and FD is responsible for the determination of relative velocity with which the target is moving. Okay, so these two frequencies can be calculated using the same single frequency that is beat frequency which can be calculated by using our FMCW radar. Okay, suppose, suppose if the target is a stationary target, target is a stationary target. So stationary target means which component becomes zero, FR or FD? FR is due to the presence of target. FD is due to movement of the target. FD is due to movement of the target. Stationary target, no movement. So, what about FD? FD becomes simply 0. Then, the beat frequency is due to which frequency? The beat frequency is purely due to range frequency. Range frequency FR. Then, FB is equal to purely FR for the stationary target. Okay. But FD alone we cannot find. FB is equal to FD will not occur. This case will not occur. FB is only equal to FD. This case will not occur because if target is there, definitely FR is present. Okay. If it is in stationary, then only FR is there. If it is in movement, then FR plus or minus FD will come. Okay, but this case will never occur. FB is equal to FD. Okay, so now I will explain the block diagram of this FMCW radar. <coughs> Thereby, I will explain the equations how to find this FR and FD. <coughs> See the block diagram of FMCW radar. As the name clearly tells that uh, what type of transmitted signal we are using a frequency modulated signal pi it is continuous wave normally a carrier signal we are taking that frequency f0 is modulated in terms of different uh, uh, patterns we need here we are using a triangular modulation what type of modulation we are doing a triangular frequency modulation triangular frequency modulation okay so type of modulation we are using 
triangular frequency modulation so a modulator is there which is used to modulate the carrier signal and the continuous wave signal and as well as a um, message signal so these two are multiplied together and fm transmitter is used to improve the signal it improves the signal in terms of gain and it is transmitted okay here by default the fmcw radar comes with two different antennas one is for transmitter and one is for transmission another one is for the reception so as there are two antennas are used isolation is defaultly provided okay as there are two different transmitters are used two different antennas are used isolation is provided because transmitter signal is traveling in one through a one antenna and receiving signal is receiving through another antenna so there is no connection between the antennas here so whenever one target is there and if it is in motion then the signal goes and touches this and again reflected back so that reflected signal uh, passes through this receiving antenna and collected by this receiving antenna and first enters into the mixer. So what a mixer will do, I already told you this mixer is a homodyne mixer. Homodyne mixer, it mixes the receiving signal with the internal signal only. That means let us consider the signal frequency F0 which is varying with respect to time F0 of t. And I am receiving a signal frequency F0 of t plus or minus f d uh, otherwise you can also say f naught of t after time t yeah f naught of t minus t that means after some time we are receiving the signal so f naught of t minus f naught of t minus t this is the signal frequency we will be having after the mixer. Mixer means it will not add always. It may produce subtraction, multiplication depends upon the operation. <coughs> the output of this one is passing through amplifier and then it is, see what is the resultant signal after the mixing? It is nothing but beat frequency of P. Beat frequency of B. So what is the beat frequency here? The beat frequency which is generated after the mixing so the beat frequency f b is equal to f naught of t minus f naught of t minus t. Okay, where t is nothing but time delay between the transmitted signal and the received signal. Okay, this is the beat frequency which is produced after the mixing. Next, the signal will be amplified and passing through a limiter. After that, frequency counter is there. This frequency counter will count the number of cycles to give either range frequency and as well as Doppler frequency. Thereby, indicator is there to indicate the resultant value either R or velocity. Okay, so frequency counter is there. The entire operation is completely dependent on frequency counter which is used to count the number of cycles. Okay, I will explain through this uh, waveforms. So consider a triangular modulation I told you already. So the transmitted signal frequency which is shown in the solid line, this is the transmitter signal frequency and this is the received signal frequency. In the previous video, I have taken a waveform for the transmitter and receiver, received signals where there is no difference between the upper during rising and as well as falling. But here we are taking the target which is in motion that is moving towards object, towards the radar system. So consider a target moving towards radar system like FMCW radar then this type of resultant signal will be occurred this is the received signal this type of signal will be received after time sometime t okay now the beat frequency is nothing but the difference between these two the beat frequency is the difference between the Transmitter and received signal frequency. So Fb is equal to Fr plus or minus Fd. In general, we can say it is Fd plus or minus Fr plus or minus Fd. But here, 
the difference in the uh, during rising period during rising period of this tri triangular waveform the difference is very narrow during falling period the difference is very high okay so we have to represent in such a way that uh, the, uh, yeah, whichever the difference is very less that is nothing but fr minus ft okay if it is more difference then it is fr plus ft again fr minus ft fr minus ft again if it is fr plus ft if it is uh, more fr plus ft okay so we have to write it as fb up is equal to beat frequency during rising incremental time okay in this period in this period that is up okay if you are writing the equation in this period that is down remember this okay so fb up is equal to fr minus fd and fb down is equal to fr plus fd okay don't confuse if it is minus it is down if it is plus it is up don't think like that okay here up and down are because of the rising and falling edges of this triangular waveform okay so the beat frequency is written in such a way that if it is less difference less value is there then it is minus if it is more difference is there then it is plus okay fr minus fd fr plus fd now can you calculate fr and fd from these two formula this is first equation this is second equation if i ask you to calculate the fr and fd using these two can you calculate two values are there two equations are there so if you find add add 1 and 2 then what happens fr 2 fr is equal to fb up plus fb down 2 fr is equal to fb up plus fb down so fr is equal to fb up plus fb down by 2 this is fr this is the third next subtract 1 and 2 similarly you will get fd is equal to fb i think it is uh, fb down fb down minus fb up by 2 this is fourth so in this way we can calculate fr and ft once by using this fmcw radar if you are able to calculate fr and fd using this fmcw radar thereby you can calculate the range using this fr and uh, velocity using this fd because they have we have a direct relation between these two fr and r and as well as fd and v so this is the concept behind this fmcw radar how the waveform is going to be transmitted and modulated and transmitted and how the range frequency and doppler frequencies are going to be calculated thereby how to calculate the range and as well as velocity okay this is about fmcw radar Thank you.